Look at just boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. And it just goes all the way to the back. It would take you weeks to go through all this stuff. Retro bassin', kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassing. You know, sometimes you have to drive halfway across the country to find sunken treasure, and other times you find treasure buried in your own backyard. Welcome to Retro Bassing. Today we are in Austin, Texas, outside of one of the last hidden gems in the state of Texas. We are in front of Jensen Fishing Tackle, Bait Shop, Rod and Reel Repair. This is about as old school of an independently owned tackle shop as you can find. And inside, it is like floorboard to rafters, nothing but old school vintage treasures. It's pretty crazy though. You know, I've driven halfway across the country to find some of the oldest old school independently owned tackle shops that I can. Yet I've been living in Texas for a few years now and I have not yet been to this place. One step inside and my heart was like thumping. Just racks and racks of old school goodness. <laughs> you guys are going to go nuts when you see what's inside. Behind me is a wall, just floor to ceiling, packed with old dealer boxes of everything from hooks to lures. I could spend two hours just going through this stuff alone. The first thing my eye caught were these. This looks like a row of dealer boxes of some sort. I'm starting to get a little better at spotting those, especially after our trip to Lone Star uh, Bait and Tackle, where I was kind of looking through the back room. So dealer boxes, it's got that sort of rectangular look to it. Always a little bit yellowed with any kind of labeling that they have. I have no idea what's inside. Okay, so this says three quarter SB. Again, I still have no idea what's inside here. Oh. Uh, it's a pretty cool old box. You can actually, it's got some holes in it so you can see what potentially was inside. <laughs> I'm just nervous. Ooh, so what do we have in here? That's pretty cool and definitely old school. Just a random, you know, just dealer boxes just hanging out. <laughs> okay, so this says a quarter BLK. So I guess that's a quarter ounce spoon of some sort, we'll say. Oh. <sighs> Honestly, we need more subs because I got to tell you, I'm going to go broke on this channel. So this is a dealer box of vintage Johnson silver minnows in, surprise, surprise, quarter ounce black. Oof, I love, oh. Ooh, check out that old packaging. So there is the old logo for the Johnson silver minnow in a quarter ounce black version. And that's what we're doing here in Austin, just you know, going through random dealer boxes of, of vintage baits. There's like boxes and boxes. I just don't know what else is in here. So here's another one. It says one half WR. So I'm assuming that's a half ounce of something or other. Oh, <laughs> dude. Look at that. The old classic red and white. Oh my goodness. Dude. <laughs> 
So there's a nice, another dealer box. Just, you know, Johnson Silver Minnows hanging out probably since, uh, you know, the 80s. It's fine, whatever. <laughs> oh, and the box is, it goes like three layers back too. You kidding me? Ah, it's like never ending. I feel like I could spend the whole show just hanging out here and oh man so Johnson came out with a few really cool wrinkles on their silver minnow <sighs> this is one that man I haven't seen in a long long time so it's a silver minnow but it's got a little blade on it look at that so that little blade runs in front of the silver minnow <laughs> in a nice little dealer box I forget what that thing's called actually Hold on. So it's a silver minnow spinner spoon. Okay. Y'all tell me that thing would not catch a bass. <laughs> you have no idea how much you need help finding hooks. We're kind of making our way down this aisle slowly but surely. There's so much here. I'm going to, I guarantee you I'm going to go nuts watching the footage about all this stuff that I'm glossing over. And I'm sure you bass and buds are probably going to go nuts too. Cause you're going to be like, dude, you should have seen that or, or that. But I came across this. These are some old dealer boxes of Eagle claw snelled hooks. I mean, I've never actually even seen a dealer box. I'm going to crack this open, but it's got the old school logo of just that classic um, angler with the stringer and Look at how awesome that is. So let's check this thing out. We'll open this up real quick. Yep, just like I suspected. Fresh, minty, dealer box, Volt Eagle Claws. And that's like one of the oldest logos I've ever seen, man. Just, <sighs> Here's a pretty cool dealer box. Old Eagle Claw fish hooks. Woo! Nice little plastic container. Man, I feel like this place has every hook in Texas. Craziness. All right, I, I gotta just keep moving. That's, you can see what's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna get knee deep in one little nook and cranny of this. My SIM card's gonna fill up, my battery's gonna die, and I'm gonna miss the rest, so. I'm gonna have to leave this section now and keep on keeping on. <laughs> so I literally made it like two feet and I had to stop again. So my eye caught this, another row full of old dealer boxes of some sort. I have no idea what's inside and I could even barely read it. Um, a, I'm wearing sunglasses inside and B, this package is probably 50 years old. So I don't even know what that says, but it's a pretty sweet, dusty looking dealer box of probably something magical. Y'all ready? <laughs> okay, what is this? I've never seen a Weber spoon before, but that looks like about as old timey of a package as you could hope to see. So that's very similar profile to a Daredevil as well in a silver version and oh, that's beautiful. And this is really cool too. So check out this. There's a, um, somehow I'm assuming this converts into a store display for the point floats. So there's, it's the float box, I guess that has the spoons in it, but okay. Um, none of this stuff is priced. I have no idea uh, what this stuff goes for. I'm got a feeling I'll be asking like momentarily. But I see probably back here about 35 boxes of these old Weber spoons just hanging out, you know, just waiting for some treasure hunter to find them. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Old Mustad snailed hooks. I never even seen that awesome logo before. Oh man. And you can pull it out and you can see. <laughs> oh, 
What the heck? I, I... Bass and Buds, I don't even know what to say about this place. This could be one of the coolest little gold mines I've ever seen. And it goes to the ceiling. I mean, it literally goes to the ceiling. We're making our way down this wall literally two feet at a time. And this looks like a brand new section of new in the box. I'm assuming Johns and Spoons. I see a lot of the same verbiage. So we'll check it out. Yep. So more and more packs of Johnson Silver Minnow Spoons. I mean, I feel like I've never seen more silver minnows in one place. So just quick estimate looking here. Honestly, it looks like another 100, 100 dealer boxes just hanging out. I mean, I need to like just come back here and probably spend a week. I wonder if they let me like volunteer at the cast register if I could just come hang out. Well, at least I found a present for Mr. Tom Lamb and Bluetooth Brandon in here. <laughs> There's a box of pretty much one of the sweetest. I mean, again, Texas provision stuff is nice, but dude, look at that. <laughs> it says Beer Hunter. <laughs> And there's a box of like, again, of course, I get everything here at, at Jensen Tackle. Probably about 200 of these just hanging out. Um, Tom, Brandon, this is coming your way. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, I, I don't care. So up here, I see a bunch of dealer boxes, something called the Extractor. I was going to climb that ladder, but I just walked right around the corner and... I see literally a thousand of these baits on the floor. Okay, so check this out. These are just boxes and boxes of this bait, which is called the extractor. What's this say? Good fishing with dye dipper lures. Baits to catch fish, not fishermen. Okay. From Tulsa, Oklahoma. So let's see what this is. Ooh, look at that. The extractor. Excellent for crappie, striper, trout. And check it out, it's a Jensen Fishing Tackle Original. That is actually pretty insane. Looks like a little spinner, probably an eighth ounce. It's got a hammered blade, bucktail, and a little single hook. Um, Basset Buds, I think you've got a pretty good hunch that some of these are coming back with us, huh? Look at that, just a straight up box of extractors. And there's boxes and boxes and boxes, and boxes, and boxes, and boxes. I'm not even really a hunter, but <laughs> this just <laughs> caught me right in the eye. Uh, what is this? Bill Harper, hunting accessories. It's a cassette tape on duck calling. <laughs> that has gotta be the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. Um, I don't know who Bill Harper is, um, but boy, <laughs> if I had the old tape machine fired up, I would totally listen to Bill Harper's duck calling set. <laughs> do we have to buy this for Tom too? I think we do. I, I feel like this is going to be a very dangerous trip for us, to be honest with you. I probably should have just looked in here and walked away totally i found the terminal tackle aisle we're going to take a quick walk down and i'm going to show you some of the highlights man so right out of the gates check this out do it molds and that looks like a quad plastic buzzbait spinner in white 
and chartreuse. I've never even seen that before. Some different do it mold stuff. This must be for some sort of, I don't know if that's for a spinner bait or a buzz bait, but just a whole row. Oh, black ones. A whole row of do it mold stuff. Going down here, some nice classic pen ready strike. That looks like for a uh, downrigger. Man, this is something we don't do on retro bass nearly enough. We just put some bass on a stringer. But look at that from Ace, a seven snap chain stringer. Ace Fishing Tackle, Austin, Texas. That's pretty cool. $2.99, I think I'm gonna get a few of those as well. <laughs> look at that. What is this? Mincota Invisible Propeller. Oh man, for $9.99. Look at the bass on that cover. That's awesome. Wow. Classic marker floats. Ah, ski rope. Wait, look at this. <laughs> it's a classic water ski tow rope. But look who makes it, Berkeley. I had no idea that Berkeley made ski ropes. That's awesome. Okay, next I'll to go. This we are getting into the lures and it looks like I see some Jensen original baits. So we're gonna take a quick walk, a quick walk down this aisle. <laughs> okay, so literally at the very end of the aisle, we're not even in the aisle yet. Look at that. That looks like a Strike King Magnum King spinnerbait. That one's got a little paint on it. Look at that. Proven musky pike and lake trout killer. So that is a 1.5 ounce spinnerbait. Um, I've never seen that. I'm saying that a lot today, by the way. But I've never seen that bait. Endorsed by, boy, I cannot wait to destroy this last name, uh, Bob Meskiomen. All right, well, maybe I got that. For $9.99, gang, you can be the owner of this Magnum King. Wow. Keep on walking here. Oh, check this out. So what is this? A Finney Super H spinnerbait. Oh, wow. And look at this, um, a full dealer card of Finney's, 89 cents each, um, Bass and Buds, I think you know where this thing's going. Wow, look at that. That looks like a nice little uh, 3 8 ounce spinnerbait too. Um, that's pretty cool looking. So we're keeping on down. I mean, there's just so much goodness. I don't even know where to start, but what is this? The Kelly Wigglers. So I think these are just jig heads. Yeah, those are just different kinds of jig heads, which kind of look nice though. So that must be for some sort of, looks like a saltwater hook on that as well. I mean, I could stop everywhere. I mean, Mr. Twister, Mr. Twister with the keeper hook. I, too much, too much. Okay, so what are these? Jensen Lures, looks like some uh, Sassy Shad style baits. Awesome. Jensen Bucktail Jigs for, how much are these? A dollar twenty-five. Oh my gosh. And look, just a giant. I can't even get into this, guys. This is just too much. Okay, so this is really cool. These are from the box that we saw in the back. So there we go. That is a, a good looking little bucktail bait. I like that orange, but look at this. That blue is calling my name. Look at that bait. That's an awesome, awesome looking spinner bait. 
in just about every single color you could think of. Brown with a yellow head, yep. We've got more Jensen Lures here. <laughs> just Hog Heaven Baits, Striper Seeker Bucktail Jigs. It's never ending, guys. Roadrunners, old school Roadrunner Bucktails, old school Mr. Twister uh, Jigs. Oh, the old bomber style head jig. Look, just a whole. Oh my gosh. Nice little Lord Jensen bait that's probably discontinued, the Shyster. Okay, here are those spoons we talked about, the professional accessories, that Weber spoon. Bunch of those left. Oh, the silver minnows. I've got a feeling these are loose probably because they came out of those packages. Those packages seem like they're falling apart a little bit. Nice pet spoons. Hog hustlers. Now we're getting into what I have a feeling is going to be one of my favorite aisles here. The crankbait aisle. Okay, so first off, we are in the Rapala section. I see a bunch of shad wraps. Some Rapala minnows. Oh, wow, look at this. The old Rattlin Rapalas. Man. I have not seen these in a, a while. Nice classic fire tiger color. What do we have here? Um, jointed shad wraps. So DT section here. Woo. Clacking wraps. Saltwater rapalas. Wow. So, oh, wow. Check that out. I've never seen this many of these in person. It's a whole row right here. Um, each row is about six deep of Fred Arbogast snookers. That's a really cool bait. Check that thing out. So that is, looks almost like a Zara spook, right? But it's got some saltwater hooks on it. And I'm assuming that's going to be made from uh, balsa. It says wood body, so... I don't know what kind of wood that is. Oh, so, okay, so we've got more Arbogast snookers here. That looks like it's got a little bit of a diving lip on it, huh? Wow. Man, offshore old school. Look at that, the hoochie cone. I have not been much into old school fishing hooks, and honestly, the same probably goes for old fishing line, but there's like a 10 foot section here, which is honestly awesome. I'm gonna show you guys some of the old, old line. They still got on the peg here. So first off, what is this? Great water trolling line. No idea, but that looks pretty cool. Keep on keeping on. I see some newish looking strand, but <laughs> look at that man that is an old logo that i have not seen in a long time the dupont strand clear blue fluorescent and it's on sale for 4.95 Whew. and there's the green package and that's for the clear mono line oh man oh you can actually get a look at it yeah that looks pretty fresh huh Oh man, uh, awesome. What is this? Stren class line. I've never even heard of this before. So this says meets IGFA standards. I guess if you're going for a world record and you wanted to make sure that your line would not disqualify you, you go with this. An aqua fluorescent color. Ooh, that's a pretty looking box though, isn't it? Oh, old school Berkeley Trilene with the, the heart in the logo still. Trilene XL. Trilene XT. And just a lot of it. Now, if that's a little bit too rich for your blood, you could probably go with the old generic brand Supreme Monofilament. 
um, for two ninety five. <laughs> Do you remember when like reels used to be spooled up with a blue like that? Not so much anymore. I'm not going to be able to do this wall justice, but up there, hundreds of antique lures, antique rods. It is like an old school museum in here. You almost have to come to see that wall for yourself. I'll do the best I can with the camera, but it's probably not going to capture everything that's up there. I just see all kinds of old school stuff. Okay, so I see some, some Jensen lures here. Um, looks like a bunch of Picos. Oh my goodness. That's like 200 Pico birches right there. That looks like sort of a hellbender looking lure there. I don't know what that is. Some sort of diving plug. Just plugs and plugs and plugs. Uh, this place been open since 1942. Oof, okay. This gentleman right here. Yeah. Is Dr. Yet. Okay. He was a professor at UT. Okay. Chemical engineering. Yeah. And uh, he actually invented all these lures up on top. Okay, wow. Uh, made them by hand, a lot of fossil wood. Yeah. Uh, during the summertime, he actually would hire teachers because they didn't have uh, any work for the students or anything yeah. like that to come and actually paint. Okay. So they, they had a little extra income. He actually came out with the first frog. Oh, wait. Mo movable what? legs. Yes. Oh, is that, wait, is that, is that called the Jensen frog? Yes, sir. That's the Jensen frog. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, I've heard of that. Okay, no way. And, and there's more of them up there. Correct. And then oh, the man. Back. These are all the ones we made. Wow. Okay, awesome. I've totally heard of that bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So, and it's just been in your family. So how did you, you get involved with this? He actually married my mother. Okay. Um, over 35, 40 years ago. Okay. Uh, he passed away, unfortunately, six years ago. Okay, wow. But he actually passed away at 101. Well, Bass and Buds, I know I've been saying this a lot, but that was literally one of the coolest places I think I've ever been to. Albert, who I met, his mother currently runs the shop and it has been in their family the entire time. I am so stoked that I was A, able to check it out and B, that it has survived all this time. Not only um, after the onslaught of all the big box stores, but also through the pandemic. So. Super cool to see Jensen's fishing tackle still up and running. I gotta tell you, if you guys are ever thinking of a tackle pilgrimage where you are gonna drive cross country and go check out a place, honestly, this would be on that list. It, it is just awesome, dusty, old school goodness. I could have literally spent weeks in there. In fact, <laughs> After the cameras go, I'm about out of battery. I'm gonna go back in there, check out with some of the things that I've seen. So anyway, Bass and Buds, check it out. I will drop all the information for Jensen Fishing Tackle down below. Uh, Albert said that anything that you saw today, he can definitely get to you one way or the other. And if you are anywhere near Austin, if you're anywhere near the state of Texas or in the central United States, y'all gotta come check out this place. Until next time guys, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.